Okay, hello all you people out there. This is Michael of Toon Half Siege, and welcome back to another Game Maker tutorial video. So, currently we have this little game that if you uh, if you were to run around this little blue circle, you hit the walls and you don't go through them, uh, so they act like walls are supposed to. It doesn't really do anything, although if you click on it, you get this little, little message, and uh, I think it's a good game, but some other people might not think it's all that exciting, so we're going to be doing more to that. Now, first... Before I continue, because I don't want to get hung up on these things later, I'm going to be going into more of the computer science side of things. So I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be opening up a new project here and creating just a room, no objects. I'm going to I'm just going to be running some code. Um, I'm going to be going into the creation code tab here. This is the code that runs when you start a room uh, before anything else in the game happens, before even the objects are created. Um, this will run, and it might do some like setup or uh, perhaps load a save file or something like that. But I'm going to be introducing a couple of things here. So the first one is going to be the for loop. And this is a, a block of code that makes, that happens for a certain number of times. Often you have, um, let's see, you can have something that looks like this. Um, and it has three parts. It has the initial condition. Uh, in this case, we're going to be setting up a variable called i, and we're going to set it to zero. Uh, this is the evaluation condition. Uh, if this expression evaluates true, the loop is going to run. Otherwise, it's going to terminate, and the code is going to continue down this way. And there is the uh, the final thing. This can be anything, uh, but 99.9% .9 of the time, it's going to be uh, this initial variable updating. Uh, in this case, this is a typical for loop. It's i equals zero. Uh, i is less than 5, i plus equals 1, so it's going to execute something 5 times, so maybe show message, um, and let's just let's just pop up um, the value of i, what it happens to be, and show what happens. Uh, this is going to run, it's going to go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then stop. Uh, this string here is converting a real numbered variable to a string, which is the type of parameter that show message accepts. Uh, for whatever reason, GameMaker doesn't implicitly cast between uh, real numbers and strings. Uh, you have to do it manually, or else you will get an error. And I suppose I should probably also make a video about error, message in, error messages in GameMaker also, uh, both in 8.1 and in Studio. They're slightly different, because they are something that if you do any sort of programming that you're going to see a lot of. Now without further ado, let's run this. This is going to be, like I said, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 is going to uh, quit, and we won't see a 5. All right, so you can make this as complicated as you want. Um, you don't have to name the variable i. You can take an existing variable. Uh, say you have, I don't know, you have another variable that you're doing something with here, um, and then you want to uh, increment a certain number of, of times and make something happen every time, or... Maybe you want to have something that's not a specific greater than or less than uh, operation. Uh, so maybe i is not equal to 5, and uh, five, and that'll uh, run the same as it would have before, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and it's not going to quit. Or maybe, I don't know, you want this to be something completely random. And you could say i equals a random, no, i random range. Uh, and it's going to go from 0 to 5 or something like that. I spelled range wrong, let's see, R-A-N-G-E. Uh, this is a function that basically generates a random integer between the first value and the second value, so it could generate either a 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, um, inclusive. And let's see what will happen. We'll get, we're going to get a random result here that's going to go 0, 0, 4, 4, 0, 1, 1, and then apparently it rolled a 5 because it quit. And uh, yeah, I don't want to get too hung up on that, but that's for loop. Next, we're going to have a while loop. And this is similar. Uh, you could have it do the exact same thing as a for loop with something like this. And uh, you could say before you start, i is 0, i is less than 5. Uh, <clears throat> let's see, wait, we want to get that semicolon out of there. It doesn't really matter syntactically, but it's ugly, so we're going to get rid of it. And i plus equals 1. And let's, uh, let's do the same thing. It's showing a message there. I'm also going to comment this out. And commenting is something that you will also see a lot of in programming. 
it basically removes these lines from being interpreted by uh, either the compiler, if you're using a compiled programming language like C, or uh, I forget whether or not Java is compiled or not, um, or an interpreted language like Python or GameMaker, but it's not going to be executed. Uh, so if you say type English text into it, you could say this is a for, uh, for loop, and this won't be interpreted even though it's English. So it does have help you document it. Uh, if you go into uh, more complicated computer science, you will see detailed comments at the beginning of pretty much every block of code telling you exactly what it does. And probably he wrote it if you're working on a team. Anyway, here, this is going to be a while loop. And for the sake of doing so, we're going uh, to put that in the comment there. And this is going to do the exact same as the thing as a for loop, except it's a little bit more uh, <clears throat> involved. It gives you a little more flexibility, which could be good or bad. Sometimes you just need something simple like this, or at least uh, something simple like it was before I made it weird. Nah, I can type. Um, or sometimes you need more control over uh, what goes on here. Uh, maybe you want to have, uh, I don't know, something happen before and after the condition uh, increments or whatever. And this will show a uh, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, and 5. What happened to it? Oh, I minimized it. Oh, I, I didn't actually run it. So we'll see what happens. 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, and 5. And it's going to quit. So that's a, that's a while loop. You could also say a while something is not equal to something else. So i is not equal to a 5, like I said before, with the for loop. I think I said that before, anyway. And that'll happen. Um, but right now I'm just going to say i is uh, less than 5 to keep it simple. Also, another style of comments that you will see sometimes is something that looks like this with a, uh, a slash star, and then it's terminated by a star slash. And then um, after that, that's code. If you want to uh, comment out like blocks without having to type slash slashes all over the place. Next, uh, similar to a while loop, we're going to do a do y, uh, until loop. And uh, you may see this under different names in different programming languages. Some languages say do until, like GameMaker does. Uh, some say do while, uh, like C. I think most languages do do while anyway. And what this is going to do is uh, we're, we can do the exact same loop that we did before, i0, uh, do uh, show message, just create that's still my clipboard, i plus equals 1, until uh, i is less than 5. And this is going to happen somewhat differently. Uh, this, is, this checks the condition after the block of code runs, unlike the while loop, which checks the condition before it runs. And depending on what you're doing, you may want this. Uh, so this is going to behave slightly different from the while loop. It's going to say uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, but it's going to then also say 5, whereas the other two things that I did didn't, because uh, it's going to check that i is less than 5 after it shows the message. Uh, so we can run that, and we can say 0. Well, what did I type? Oh, I'm, I said uh, i is less than 5. Uh, I'm going to want to say um, i is equal to 5 or something because uh, 0, quite obviously, and I hope that people watching this saw this before I did, uh, 0 is indeed less than 5. So let's run that this time. We see we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're going to want uh, i is greater than 5 in this case. And that's going to count That's going to count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So let's run that this time. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And the quits, perfect. <clears throat> so that's another uh, control flow statement. Uh, let's also comment this out so that we don't have to deal with it. The next type of a uh, control flow that we're going to see is quite simply uh, called loop. Repeat. All right, yeah, that's a repeat. This is one that I don't usually use. This is one that is not in many of the programming languages. But it basically repeats something a given number of times. And it's basically a nerfed version of the for loop. Let's see, let's, uh, I want to keep this on one screen as much as possible. If I had a bigger monitor, that would make things easier, but <clears throat> whatever. And you can't do anything like uh, you could show the value of i within it. Um, so instead, uh, message, I'm just going to say banana. And uh, we're going to show that. And it's going to do that five times. If you really aren't concerned with uh, 
with what's happening and you just want something to happen uh, multiple times, uh, you could use a loop statement and that's going to happen five times. Um, most of the time you probably won't use this, but I do want to have it out there anyway. Uh, so of course, oh, and I should probably uh, document this also, like I've been doing. Um, let's see, slash slash, this is a do while loop, and this is a repeat loop. And uh, we're going to do this once again. Game Maker isn't picky about if you have uh, one of these signing off uh, common marks here, but other languages are. So if you're planning on doing anything uh, more serious with computer programming, you're going to want to uh, keep that in mind. And lastly, this is somewhat different from the others. Uh, it's actually sort of like an if statement, which I haven't gotten here. I should put a, I don't know, I'll put uh, something that vaguely remembers an if else statement. Actually, that's pretty much as basic as an if else statement as you can get uh, in there just for the sake of uh, being consistent. But the switch statement, so this is going to be a switch statement. And we're going to say i equals, I don't know, two, and I said two and it had four, and then I'm going to say switch uh, the variable i, and I went ahead and typed a bunch of code here, and uh, what it does, there are these cases, and that's going to be, this is basically a shortened form of if statements, and whichever, uh, whichever value down here i happens to be, it's going to execute that statement, and then there's the break, and it's going to get out of the switch statement. So in this case, it's going to say, uh, it's going to tell me that i equals 4, and then uh, get out of the statement. And if none of the conditions happen to be met, this part is optional. Uh, you don't have to have it. It'll execute perfectly fine if it isn't there. But eh, I meant to hit Control z not uh, V. Then this will happen, and it'll tell me that nobody knows what i equals. And uh, let's run this, see what happens real quick. Uh, i equals 4. OK, good, I'm not crazy. <clears throat> and that's switch statement. Most of the time, this is used for... Uh, Say if you want us to get user input from something. So if I were to say um, get integer, and uh, this is a function that's going to give me a pop-up that tells me uh, that asks for uh, me to give it a number, and then the message uh, that it's going to say is going to say uh, number, please, and uh, the default value that it shows is going to be zero. Uh, you can make that whatever you want, and uh, it's going to say number, please. Let's hit. Two, and it tells me that i equals two. Or if I were to restart the game, uh, maybe if I were to enter something that wasn't there, maybe uh, I don't know, nine. I'm pretty sure nine was in there. It's gonna tell me uh, that it doesn't know what i equals. Well, it does, but it's not telling me that. And uh, the default case executed. So those are your basic uh, control flow um, statements. Uh, this isn't related to the uh, the thing earlier that I was working on with the circle that goes around all over the place and uh, and it knows what to do with solid walls, but I'm going to be putting it up for download in the huh, up, for, up for download in the description of this video anyway. So if you wanted to mess around with that, if you want to mess around with different conditions, uh, no, I don't mean to hit that. Uh, different conditions in the statements, uh, you can you can see what works, you can see what doesn't work. In the next video, I'll be getting back to making a game that does stuff and hopefully exciting stuff. Uh, but for now, I hope you all enjoy that. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Watch more of the stuff that I have uploaded. And I will see you later.